New Freedom, Auto Point, kit. Unlocking the legs here on the tri tripod. Use these uh, silver things, push out, go all the way up, go down one lock, go back up. Unlock the legs. Extend. Find it. We'll level it after. Grab the mount. We find the, we're gonna insert the mount and rotate it. the boom put it together and insert the boom using this wedge mount and put it in and tighten it up righty tighty lefty loosey grab this insert use the white the channel right here insert it down the channel that's it Connect. And we'll thread the. In the meantime, since we have the buck connected, we're going to actually take the BNC and connect everything up because the modem takes two minutes to start. We're going to start everything up. It takes some calibration time. Connect the BNC. Connect the USB. Over here, we have the power cable for the modem, the DC. We're gonna stick it into the battery. There's an on and off switch. We're gonna push it down on the switch. We're gonna check here if it turns on. It has turned on on the modem. We're gonna take the phone. And we're gonna power it on by pressing the bottom button for about two seconds until everything turns on. We're gonna leave that. We'll take the connectors and put the main mount a main reflector piece on onto the boom you want to start your all your screws don't tighten them all the way down yet just get them all started a few threads in once they're all started then we'll tighten them all up And on the back of it, we're going to match the numbers one to one, put the bolts in, two to two, put the bolts in. numbers three here and, th and four here match those up get them all started first find them down now we're going to swipe up on the phone to unlock it. We're going to swipe down from the top. We're going to check that we have a signal. It says Wi-Fi. Let's see if it's connected. It looks like it is connected. We can click here on the network and just check that it is. It's not connected, so we're going to click Freedom 5 or whatever your SSID 
is. We're going to click the square arrow. And now we're going to open the GFAP app. We're going to turn on the boom, I mean the mount, which is right on this side. There's a little button right here. We're going to turn that on. Everything should be on. We are going to do a quick... level of the mount. Using the feet, doesn't have to be exact, but close. Okay. Sorry, excuse me. We have a seat sensor connected here, everything is green. There we have an updated time. It'll tell you your longitude latitude with the updated time. That's the right time. Press the Hughes network. It's going to ask you what Down. star, what satellite. We're going to pick 17. We're going to press install. Up. Now you're going to check if the arrow is on top which this arrow is not. If you see, it's actually on the left side here. Okay, so we are gonna take, we're gonna take from right here, the little Allen key. We're gonna grab it. We're gonna loosen these up. Take it, spin it. Make sure the arrow is on the top. We're going to tighten these back. And they're captive so they won't fall on the ground. Don't have to worry. Allen key back. Now we're going to press, after we've made sure it's all on top, we're going to press next. No, did not turn on. If the mount is not connected, we're going to shut it off. Turn it back on. Going to reopen. Yep. Into Hughes. Up. The mount and everything is connected, and you're going to see auto point here. It says stop or start. If the, everything is not connected, it will not give you the start option. We are going to press start and we are going to put this right here. Just said 100, she stopped beeping. So I assume it's found. I'm gonna take a quick look. It does say found. Now there's a register button. There's a signal, it says found there. It says signal and then we're gonna press register. Press register and it's gonna start registering.
now it shuts you off because it had downloaded a file configuration. Turn it back on. We can pl click the Hughes pointing app again. And at the top, it's going to say, show you this SPC state. And it's going to show you the system state as well. is fully operational both of them we should be able to get online not yet type in the one web address of the modem 192.168.1 Google. 